So today's video we're going to be doing a bit differently. As you can see, we have a tier list. No shit. We're not ranking just five things today. We are ranking all um fuck, how many builds do I have again? <laughs> right, so pretty much at the time of this recording, we are gonna be ranking all 33 builds I have so far done for the build series. What this ranking will be is basically gonna be like how versatile is it and how good at the job is the build at. If that makes it sense right fucking enough daily dying let's get the business <laughs> hypo aggro soldier first build that was ever made pretty much this was done before the series even think this is like the concept on the table pretty much nothing too fancy really just a simple aggressive soldier build designed much more for close quarters rapid fire and lift off Refreshing for 5, I believe, was just thrown in there because um 7 points and these do you want to use 6 I would say honestly it's a decent build Gets a job done, it can go in the B tier. It does what it's supposed to do. For Tunnel Master Chomper revolves entirely around the usage of Burrow. I believe it's well fed, speedy, and face pipe. I believe the build is used since um it's the only thumbnail that doesn't actually have the name of the upgrades on, so I'm having to go off memory. See, again, really decent build, which makes Burrow a very excellent getaway tool. <laughs> and I remember this video well because um someone bitched me for using well fed. It's a bit rich, this build, very decent. Gonna go in B tier. Mach 5 Barrel. Personally, my personal build for Pirate, when I play him, I do think it's stronger than these two, so it's gonna go in A tier. Only reason it's not going in S is because um, the barrel only has so much health, it can be destroyed, the hit registration on the barrel is not that good, and with how much speed you get, you can actually overshoot your target sometimes. Multi Shuck. Pretty much just Shuck Shot Spam. Nothing much to it. Decent. Again, pretty much with the B tier, rest of B tier, decent build, fucking nothing much to it. Slap happy. Now fucking, according to uh, my assistant editor noob, uh, apparently this one build blew up, specifically on PlayStation servers, and um, he gave me a bit of a balking for it. Happy to respond to that by saying that I am absolutely not sorry. But yeah, fucking pretty much, again, nothing too special with the build. I'm gonna go in B tier. Remember, I'm, I'm gonna need more fucking space. Hang on. More space. Sorted. The Troll Engineer is gonna go straight in D tier since, like, it's not really a build about actually doing anything useful. It's just being a piece of shit, and that's it. Speed Rush Citron. All about mobility. All about speed. And Citron gets a lot of speed based upgrades. Adrenaline Rush, Freshly Squeezed, like him, and Emergency Exit. All brilliant upgrades. I'd say definitely A tier build. Professional Doctor. Now, um, sad story with this one, I recorded this build thinking Power Wash actually gave the increased healing, and then I later found out that Power Wash does not give the increased healing. Fucking, I remember actually being fucking devastated when I learned that Power Wash did not give as much healing as I thought it did. Honestly, just like, it would have gone high A if that actually, it would have gone A if it actually worked, but sadly, it does not work, so, B tier. And I need more fucking space. One up shroom C. Pretty much straightforward decision with this one. Um, it's a decent build. You can get the job done, but like nightcap's not really the best one at it. You'd still take longer to revive plants than sunflowers, even with incubate. Clear coating lets you get revive stuff safely, but it doesn't guarantee complete freedom. Refreshing revive. I mean, yeah, that's just refreshing revive. Nothing too special there. Moving on. The infinity mech. B tier. Pretty much my main build for imp. And yeah, very simple. Just fucking you get mechs. The cop in NATO. Very interesting build. I remember avoiding it initially because. I wasn't sure what this build's synergy was, but then I think it was just more just like a general multi-purpose flank build. More room, shove you at the end of the day. Frontline fighter, A tier easily. This is like my main build for all-star fucking. It's primarily because of shoot the gap and tennis skills. Shoot the gap because the amount of distance you can cover with sprint tackle when you have shoot the gap on is actually fucking stupid. And tennis skills is also stupid. Y you pretty much become a better soldier with tennis skills. Like, it's actually that stupid. Bottomless Gatling. See, I like this build. Like, don't get me wrong, it is fun. I think it's more the fact that it's based entirely around Gatling, which like, while well, yeah, it has a ton of damage, uh, ZPG exists. Any sort of high burst damage exists. Vampiric doesn't really do a whole lot. I mean, like, it does something, but I wouldn't say it's like the most, you, you can rely on it most of the time. Pocket Overlord, they, that can go in. Take a shot every time LT has to expand the canvas size because he doesn't make it fucking big enough. <laughs> this build, I'd say it, it's 
It's B. I don't really play Wizard all that much, so I, I can't really say I have much of an understanding, but I know that Two-Headed Dragon and Elder Alchemist can be a very strong combination, especially with likes for SB. It can definitely do well, but it's like fucking the other team can very easily corner it together and shut you down. Ranged Renegade fucking hate playing Rose and BFN. She actually sucks. This build pretty much just makes her playable and that's it. Let's move the fuck on. Jojo Brains. The B tier. Would be higher, but um... SB, so uh, shitty hit detection, enough said. The pocket protector, C. Pretty much, it revolves around just pocketing one person for the whole game and that's it. It's like, yeah, that can get the job done, but it's like, I, I won't lie to you, that's kind of fucking boring. And it's like, it's not really something I would run on the regular. Dash blaster, also C. It's very... It's definitely one of the more unique builds, in the sense that, oh yeah, you dash past them, and then you blast them with your cart missile. But uh, 80s gets hard countered by a lot of things, um, general environments, sunflowers, high health classes, especially since um, you don't have um, the upgrade that doubles your missiles per shot, so um, yeah, you don't have those. Slam Dragon A tier. Easy fucking A tier for the Slam Dragon. It's just simple, really. You get to spam swoop slam, you get to constantly kill almost any class in the game with one push of the fucking button. Chain reaction. Also, we're gonna pop this in A tier because it's actually really fucking fun and also really fucking stupid at how you can just look you can literally harm the entire team by just shooting at one person. Pretty much if any oak is on the enemy team, you can make the entire enemy team your bitch. Speaking of oak, we have the barbecue tree man. <laughs> His cousin, the Flying Tree Man. Another A tier, pretty much super fun. You get to essentially rocket jump around as a tank class. Need I say anymore? Crash Course Cadet B. It's a very good build, it's fun. It's just that sometimes Gravity Smash, or whatever it's called, can be a bit clunky, especially when it turns around. Not to mention Space Cadet herself, not including the station, is not the strongest. And this build is centered entirely around Cadet. So, really the best. The Solar Artillery. Um, I'm gonna pop this in C. Again, I don't think Sunflower is as strong as Scientist in many regards. I mean, Recharge and Stuffy Sundrop, they definitely do make the Sunbeam a really powerful tool. Not only in terms of, like, you can provide shit tons of healing, but you can also self-heal if you want to. Rapid Rock. You fucking go. This is hands down my favorite build. I fucking love this build. Fucking Slam Dragon might be strong because it can instant kill most classes, but you have the Rapid Riser, who has the capable of reviving upwards of fucking five, six people in the span of ten seconds. I'm not being funny, but this is actually stupid. It's like fucking you self heal from the sticky healy thingy, you self heal from revival ward, which then allows you to fucking go revive even more people, which then refreshing revive is gonna make your Billy's come back faster, and wormhole is gonna allow you to go fucking everywhere. Pretty much this build, there is almost nothing you can't get away with. You can get away with almost every single kind of revive. The Explode OP, see, this would be much higher if the Bean Bomb cooldown actually started when you threw it, not when it detonated. Roof Camper, also C. Not a bad build, it's just that, I don't know, it's not really something I do. Well, I mean, it's like, I occasionally sit back, but it's like, I'd like to be a bit more in like, the mid-range fights with Soldier. That, and I'm gonna be brutally honest, I don't think Ranger really does all that much for Soldier, if anything, really. Vitamin D Fender, also C. The whole build is emphasis on Citron Shield, which I mean, it makes it very strong, but it's like, your Citron, you have Gun. You have stun. You have burst damage. Not to mention, why would you not just use Speed Rush Citron? Missile Master. Hang on. In B you go. Pretty much just fucking very simple build. Just you spam weaker shots. You get crit. You unleash hell. You get loads of crits. You can unleash the horde of rockets. Eeky Chomper A tier. This pretty much allows you to be the biggest piece of shit known to man with chomp. I know sim some people are gonna tell me that upset stomach is actually like a downgrade since oh yeah that means you don't get the ability back. Um, it's Brody Goop. Enough said. Major Laser. Major Laser. I would say I would say it's definitely the better space cadet build I've done purely because Crater Maker can achieve a lot more than Gravity Smash. Like, fucking, you can chain multiple kills, it moves quick, it 
does a lot of shit. Like, it's generally a good build. Uber Driver C. It's a bit more of a situational build, unless you have a fucking swarm main that uses that really just uses their drone, in which case you can just speed them up. That, or if you actually feel like being a nice teammate and actually getting them everywhere. Troll Star! You're gonna go in fucking D tier. Pretty much for the same reason as the Troll Engineer. And finally, we have the Demo Cactus. Even though you're fun, you're gonna go in D. Purely because the fact that both the main upgrades are heavily RNG based. It's like fucking, you are rolling a fat dice with this with this build. It's like you are praying a lot on luck. That is the tier list. Pretty much fucking all these builds, like pretty much even the ones down in D tier that are, I would consider to be the weaker ones. I would consider I, pretty much all these builds have been like a blast to play, some more than others. <clears throat> but yeah, fucking all these builds, really fun. Really love them. Could definitely be doing more of these. Like, could be doing fucking a lot more builds. The fact that fucking it only took us one and a half years for Cactus to finally get a build. <laughs> but fucking yeah, I believe that's all the builds so far at the time of this recording. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.